Despite Disney's plethora of female characters, only 11 of them count as official Disney princesses. And Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, Anna, and Elsa make up the Big Five, even though the last two aren't technically on the list. The meticulous studio is notorious for their hidden details, and the internet is drowning in theories about subliminal messaging corrupting children's morals. Wherever you stand, it's worth pointing out that most of it is flying right over their kids' heads. But just because they're made with children in mind doesn't mean adults can't enjoy them too. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Here are 10 Disney princess secrets only adults will notice. Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. <laughs> Rapunzel from Tangled. The cover for 2010's Tangled gives new meaning to the term sex hair. That is, if you believe Disney animators prey on youth with subliminal messaging. Concerned parents were sure they spotted the word sex in Rapunzel's hair on the movie's cover. Can you see it? Yeah, neither do we. But others swear up and down that it's written there clear as day. Considering it took 10 software engineers to work on just the character's hair, it seems pretty far-flung that they'd all band together to sneak a little innuendo onto the cover. But stranger things have happened, so we'll let you be the judge. I never realized how incredibly handsome you are. Jasmine from Aladdin. Ears intent on finding sexual innuendo will hear it in everything. And since many of the Disney conspiracies have to do with sex-type things, it's understandable that people get riled up about morality. No parent wants their kid's childhood to be marred by naughty adult stuff. So when a concerned citizen heard what they thought was dirty talk in Aladdin, it was a big deal. While most people heard the line as, Good kitty, take off and go. On, good teenagers, take off, come on. Others swore he said, Good teenagers, take off your clothes. We can argue about it all we want, but at the end of the day, the only one who knows for sure is Princess Jasmine. You must control your temper! Belle from Beauty and the Beast. For better or for worse, Disney princesses hold a lot of sway when it comes to teaching lessons to kids. It turns out that the magic of song is a wonderful medium for transmitting messages of self-esteem and kindness. None of the ladies on this list take any crap from anyone, and that's especially true of Belle. That hurts! If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much! The team behind the character has said they wrote her to be someone their own daughters could look up to. Feminist is a big word, and people seem to understand it differently. But when it comes to conversations about empowered female characters, her name is almost always on the list. All right, y'all. One more time. It don't matter what you look like. Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. Of all the criticisms that have been lobbed at Disney over the decades, the issue of cultural representation is one of the heaviest. Historically, and with very few exceptions, white characters have dominated the entertainment industry, including animation. The release of 2009's The Princess and the Frog finally bucked the trend, sort of. Tiana is the first African-American princess to enter the Disney canon. But considering she's turned into a frog quickly and stays that way for most of the movie, viewers have argued that it was a clever way for the studio to appear diverse without actually having to follow through on it. And while really little kids might not give it a second thought, older folks understand the magnitude of that choice. If you're not going to buy anything, get out! Merida from Brave Merida isn't just Pixar's first female lead, she also has the honor of being their first princess. An incredibly skilled archer with a headstrong attitude, she'd rather stomp around in the forest than follow stuffy old customs. And obviously, disaster ensues. Sure, it's technically a kid's movie, but Pixar doesn't forget about the adults. There's one moment when Merida's brothers turned cub bears chase down a nursemaid to find a key hidden in her cleavage. And after one of them dives in head first, the other two have different reactions. One of them is shocked, but the other is clearly having a flashback to the days when he was breastfed. It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Cinderella from Cinderella. Perhaps the ultimate Disney princess, no discussion of the studio's royal lore would be complete without a nod to Cinderella. Everyone knows the story. Terrible living circumstances, slave labor, and snotty stepsisters all fade away when the fairy godmother makes her over for a couple of hours. The most iconic part of that makeover is also the key to Cinderella's freedom, glass footwear. It's easy for the youngsters to get so swept up in the spectacle of it all that they never even consider how horrendously impractical that would be. If the fairy godmother really had Cinderella's back, she'd have given her some sensible shoes before sending her to a night of dancing. 
Snow White from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. For most people, Snow White is the story of a girl in unfortunate circumstances, but not everybody sees it that way. Conspiracy theorists hypothesize that the whole thing is actually a metaphor for substance abuse, specifically cocaine. This group posits that each dwarf corresponds to a symptom of withdrawal, while the princess symbolizes the drug itself, and Doc is, well, a doctor. It's an interesting mental exercise to imagine, but it was debunked by the folks over at Snopes. In addition, cocaine withdrawal is different for every user, and there isn't an official checklist of symptoms to cover everyone. So for this analogy to work, there would have to be, like, 50 more dwarves. Ariel from The Little Mermaid Ariel is part of the Big Five princess group, and has the best hair of them all. But her accommodations are less than stellar. If you own a copy of The Little Mermaid produced in the movie's initial run, the front cover is going to be different from the ones that came after it. But you have to look very closely. That's right, friends. Ariel lives in a d palace. There's some J.J. Abrams lens flare action happening to try and obscure it, but it's there. In this case, we're using the loose definition of adult, because d jokes transcend all traditional age boundaries. It's science, really. All right, rise and shine, sleeping beauty! Mulan from Mulan. Mulan is the story of one daughter's profound love for her father. The lengths she goes to in order to protect him are truly heroic. Disguising herself as a man, Mulan enlists in the army and gets away with it for a long time. All the while, she's been developing a crush on her teammate Shang, who thinks she's a dude. Obviously, she can't keep it up forever, and Mulan's true identity is discovered, leading to some straight-up discrimination. Some audience members have argued that the princess's journey is a metaphor for gender inequality in the workplace. Something that, hopefully, kids have no first-hand experience with. <gasps> Man, am I out of shape. <gasps> Anna from Frozen. In 2013, Disney released a movie that took the world by storm and kicked everyone in the pants. Frozen obliterated the box office and is one of the most successful, highest-grossing films of all time. And the soundtrack was just as successful. The movie's charm lies in the relationship between the two princesses, Anna and her sister Elsa. No, they're not technically on the official list of Disney royalty, but we can't just overlook them. Most of the humor in Frozen is very family-friendly, but one conversation between Anna and Kristoff about a man's shoe size is guaranteed to have the adults giggling. What's his favorite food? Sandwiches. Best friend's name? Probably John. Eye color? Dreamy. Foot size? Foot size doesn't matter. It's good to know the writers consider the grown-ups occasionally, except for when they're writing the music. So how did we do? Did we miss any obvious ones? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching.